it's Ultimate Hacker here and today we're going to learn how to engrave your name into any piece of bare metal using a battery. And I also want to remind you guys that I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this clock that I made out of old pallets. I did make a tutorial on this on my last video so make sure you check it out. Alright guys so in order to in order to enter the giveaway it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to my homepage Sultanate Hacker and just click that subscribe button and that's it you're already entered into the giveaway now let's begin with the video in order to start this project you are going to need distilled white vinegar you are also going to need a battery. You can use a 9 volt battery, but in this case, I'm going to be using a 12 volt 7.2 amp battery. It does not matter what type of battery you use as long as it is 9 volt. For the battery I am using, the link will be in the description below. Next, you are going to need a handful of cotton swab. You're going to need two different alligator clips. Make sure you also have some tissue in this case, I'm using toilet paper. For this step, I'm using hydrogen peroxide, but I recommend you use alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Additionally, you're going to need some bare metals. Now for this case, you cannot engrave any letters or symbols into any painted surface. You can use any knives, which I am using in this case, or you can use any tools such as a wrench. Furthermore, you're going to need some poster board alphabets, which I used in my previous DIYs. And we aren't going to need the black stickers. In this case, we are going to need the outline of the black stickers. So you can just go ahead and peel off the sticker from the letters that you need. You're going to need a clear plastic cup. And lastly, you are going to need salt. And this is all of the materials that we are going to need in order to engrave our name or any logo into bare metal. Let's officially get started with the engraving. The first thing you are going to do is you're going to add about one tablespoon of salt into your clear cup. After doing so, you're going to want to pour some white vinegar into the cup. You're going to want to fill up three fourths of the cup with white distilled vinegar. Then stir the salt and the vinegar. After stirring the vinegar and the salt, Take a handful of cotton swabs and place one end of the cotton swabs into the solution. Then place the solution with the cotton swabs aside and take out your battery. As I said before, I'm using a 12 volt battery and the link will be in the description below. You can use a 9 volt battery, which you can buy from Home Depot or any hardware store. Take your alligator clips and clip them to the positive and negative charge of the battery. After doing so, Clean your bare metal with the hydrogen peroxide or the rubbing alcohol. After cleaning the bare metal, you are going to want to cut out the letters that you are going to use for your logo or your letters. In this case, I'm going to cut out Sultimate, S-U-L-T-I-M-A-T-E, and I'm going to cut out square blocks. Now remember the white, the black, excuse me, the black stickers are going to be thrown away and only the outline is going to be needed. As you can see here, I cut out the letters of my name and I assembled them together. Now, take your bare metal and place each letter block onto the knife or the bare metal. After placing every single letter on the bare metal, you're going to want to take your alligator clips and after placing each of them on separate charges, you're going to want to take the positive charge and clip it onto the bare metal itself. You're now going to want to take the cotton swab and clip it onto the negative charge of the clip. Make sure the part where the salt and vinegar was absorbed is touching the clip. After that, you are going to want to lightly dab into the area where the black sticker was before. Remember, we took out the black sticker because that was not necessary. You are going to know if it worked if there is a fizzing sound and bubbles appear as shown here. Make sure the negative clip does not touch the bare metal as it will create spark. 
Switch out your cotton swabs once one of the ends turn black. In the process of engraving the letters, you can take a piece of tissue and wipe off the bubbles. After engraving each and every single one of the letters, you can finally peel off the, the sticker cube outlines, whatever you want to call it. Now you can take rubbing alcohol and you can wipe the whole bare metal. As you guys can see, to engrave your name into any piece of bare metal is so easy. If you follow the instructions in the video, you, the name should not fade away nor should it scratch off. If you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Leave in the comments below what type of video you want me to make next. I'll see you guys on the next Ultimate Sunday.